This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to work with multi channel sound inside Final Cut Pro 10. Here, I've got a multi track mix. <laughs> Will Pizneski. And notice it's listed as surround sound. Select the clip, go to the audio tab of the inspector, change this from surround to six track mono. And notice that we see all six tracks. Turn off the tracks you don't want to use. I just want to use tracks one and two. Select the clip, go to clip, expand audio components, and now let's go to here and make this a little bit bigger. Now we can see my conversation on track one. Highlight this, make sure it's panned center. It is. So let's hear my voice. Will Pizneski is the VP of post-production for Authentic Entertainment. Based in Burbank, they specialize in creating reality programs. He's also using the CoreMelt series of plugins, which we also want to talk with him about as well. Will, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Larry. Tell us what Authentic Entertainment does. What are you guys working on right now? Basically, we're just coming. Now, this is a classic interview. This is where I'm on track one, the host, and the guest is on track two. I've got entirely separate audio control over my voice and over his voice. I can use the razor blade tool, keyboard letter B, and cut this, zoom in, command plus. I don't want to hear that question, so I can cut the clip. And then I can cut this clip. I can start to edit it so I can get rid of the stuff that I don't want to having on to. Now, to get this to work again, let's pull our clip back, collapse the audio components, and now say I don't want that clip, and I don't want here, highlight this, hit the delete key, and it automatically closes the clip up. Bravo is flipping out. Um, I think dealing with high volumes of media. See? This is another example of, of how we're able to work with multi-channel audio. Select the clip, go to the inspector, turn on the tracks you want to hear, turn off the tracks you don't want to hear. Maybe it's background noise. Maybe it's somebody talking that you don't want in the interview. And then you can edit it by going to clip, expand audio components. Expand audio video is exactly the same as double clicking the audio file. Expand audio components shows you the individual tracks. We also have a third option. Here, for instance, if I go and select the clip, go to the clip menu and say detach audio. Now I have a separate audio clip way down here. I've separated the video from the audio. This allows me, for instance, to remove audio or remove video from a clip that I don't want. But the problem is because these are now separate clips, there's no guarantee they're going to stay in sync. If I move this clip, now watch what happens. It was about this time last year. We was coming. See how he's out of sync? It was about this. His lips are moving, but we don't hear the voice for another second. That's the big problem with detach audio. You only want to detach audio when you don't care about maintaining sync between the video and the audio. Now, in this case, I'm going to keep undoing that. Much better double click on the audio. That way, when you move one or the other, the audio and the video move together and sync is not lost. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 140. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.